What do you think you're doing, man? Come here and mess with my radio. <laughs> Can't be sneaking up on me like that with that camera. You know I got PTSD from Vietnam. What's up, Austin? What you been doing, bro? <sighs> Showed up to do some work. I see. I was just uh, putting the carpet in the uh, Corvette. Got that side over there finished. I'm gonna come over and check it out. Kind of a pain. Kind of a pain, really. You gotta locate all your holes for your seat belt and your, your seat mounts and this plastic piece. Of course goes in, you gotta cut out around it so it'll fit right. But uh yeah, I'm working on that side now. <sighs> Actually, we go ahead and put this man, man, you mean a mesh on that floor. <laughs> It'll come right up, look at that. It's stuck to dust. See, nice and shiny. Need to flip it over after it sets up a little more and See if we missed any spots underneath there. Like I was saying uh, yesterday, all the pulleys and all the brackets on the front are gonna be black. So of course I had to see the screw right here. You loosen them screws up, which I hadn't messed with this. It was already like that, ain't even took it loose. But I'll fix it when I'm done. I'll, then you just uh, a screw in the back. And this whole piece right here will pop out. I gotta get it out so we can tuck this in behind it. So when his heater core went out, remember the, you can go back and look at the old video. Uh, his heater core went out on the day, which uh, soaked this whole side over here with uh, coolant. So I vacuumed it all out and took old tile and soaked it all up. I've had that fan sitting in there all morning while I was working on the other side trying to dry it out. A little sand coming handy. Uh, but it, it's pretty dry. I gotta dry it up. Now I gotta start cutting and cutting and fitting and pulling my hair out. Try not to cut my finger off too. So this carpet, well, if you ever cut carpet before, they make a certain blade that's got a little hook on it for carpet, which we ain't got that, but carpet will dull a blade so fast so this is like my fourth blade and that's just on that one side over there but I found the pack of blades that we've been had sitting around for a while but that's it so just so if anybody has a Corvette and wants to know to get this off see how that works there's a screw back here. You gotta go in from the back with a long, long extension and a swivel to get to that screw. Took me a while to find that screw. But I finally found it. But uh, but yeah, what we got going on. This old stuff that came out too. And the rest of it I done put in the trash because it's nasty. So whenever you trim a carpet, you want to trim just a little piece at a time. Don't go making no big giant cuts because you're going to mess up and go too far. So just cut a little bit off, check it, cut a little bit off, check it, cut a little bit off, check it. Just like fabbing up anything else I'll get. Yeah, don't go uh, unless you've done this for a million times and you know what you're doing. You see, this has been duct taped and stuff before. I didn't do none of that. Look over there on that table, there's a boat bin. You can stick it in here. Bring me the whole boat bin. Let's 
See, and these over here, you just loosen. You don't take them all the way out. About like that. Yeah, slide that just like that. See these notches here? That's why you just loosen the boat. You ain't got to take them all out because it slides up in there. We'll put this somewhere safe so it don't get broken anymore. You can see where they rigged it up, trying to fix it. I guess somebody's tried to take the interior out. Just tuck it in there. Might have to trim it up a little bit. We'll trim that up a little bit. See how it, I got it right here? That's the piece we just took off, right? And it tucked in back there. And I see all this stuff broke down here. I didn't do none of that either. That's what I kept before. What up? This whole section right here. See, you pull out that camera off, don't get me all scattered by Brian. I'm trying to explain what I've done and then keep keep thinking about what I'm doing but anyway we'll figure it out there's a seat belt that's under here and there's a tie down that goes down there to it so this mounts in here like so that hole right there is gonna be for the seat bolt these three holes is what hold it in and there's two right here but these two were missing for some reason I'm not sure why but we might find something to replace it but it'll go in there like that so I'm gonna have to cut it out but I don't cut it out all the way to the edge I cut it out to this edge that way still the carpet still tucked under there you see what I'm saying so I'll go along and cut it I'll cut the actual carpet along this line here but just little pieces at a time, like I was telling you. And I got me a little gray marker somewhere. I've been using this right here. Look, don't sell down in there. I use this little gray marker to make me a couple marks on the carpet. Thank you, a little pick. You can come from the bottom, stick it up through the bottom, and then make you a little mark. Then I come back up here from the top and I'll stick my pick in that hole. That's where the seat bolt goes, and I'll cut around it. And then when you bolt the seat in here, see how it bolts in? You won't ever see it. See all this going to have to be trimmed. I'll probably trim it down to there. Just take off a little strip at a time until it gets close, and then. See where that bar that holds the seat belt? Tell you what, let me pull this on up right here. Let's start over again. So it just tucks underneath the console there. Come here, put a piece right there. So it goes just like that. It. Let's go in there like that. So I gotta cut the top. To, so this piece will fit right. If I don't cut the carpet right, it won't sit down in there as good. Plus, we gotta vacuum this out. I vacuumed the front section, all that water and stuff out. I need to vacuum this out real quick. I'm glad I pulled that back. So there's a little hump molded in the carpet for the hump in the floor. Of course it's molded over here up to this corner where your feet go. A little 
little plastic piece here. Little plastic piece here, go right here like this. Hide that. Yeah, I'm there. But, uh, here. But, uh, I'm gonna need your help for a second. Putting that piece back in. That console, I need you to move the console around while I get the bolt lined up. Stick it in there. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? All right, so these three pieces here that we're looking at are all part of the trunk. Or if you want to call it a trunk, it's kind of like a storage area behind the seat. But, uh, so these two here are the fender well cover. The fender well. And, uh, this right here lays, lays in there flat. I believe it curves up the back. But we, me and Austin took me and Austin took apart uh, the trunk, which consists of this. It sits down in this hole right here, where the battery is. Put your light on. So this piece would sit down in there. All right, man. You about like that. So, nothing but screws hold it in. Take them screws out. But also, you got these doors. You got these doors that screw to the back. And they they close up on it. You know, I think uh, this goes over here, but something like that. So, the piece that goes, see the screws right here? Hold that trim on. Yeah. We'll unscrew that. I'll get you to do that here in a second. And, uh, these pieces take their place. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. If you shine the light back in there, you'll see those two pieces, those three pieces that I was showing you. I'll point them out here. And here's that piece with the little bead roll on it. I mean, the little, uh, the little trim on it. So there's a light that we got to cut out too, back there. It's hit light. Cut that out. How uh, you doing it now? Explain to us what you're doing there, Austin. Taking the apart. Uh, so that we can put deeds to replace them. Cool. Pretty simple how to figure out how to get that out. You ever done that before? No. But it seems pretty simple to unscrew screws until you get it. <laughs> there you go. Just remember where them screws go back. Yeah, pretty simple. I say we should probably not take apart that other one and put this one back together so we can have that other one out of that sample. Yeah, let's do one at a time. Right. That's a good idea. Not dumb. Only 90% of the time though. 90% of the time I'm dumb. I got a drill over there that'll probably speed the process up a little bit. It's a nice screwdriver you got. Yeah, yeah my dad got some nice screwdrivers. But anyway, Joe, so... It's the new piece here. I don't want to lay it down. That floor. Get it near. You see, I got the hole. That where's the light goes, and then it's got these three little uh, stopper type deals, little plugs that hold it up in the back. I'm gonna show you. See these little little rubber grommet type deals. So I got to transfer holes. I'll transfer those holes into that new piece and then I'll trim it to fit on the back side where that uh, that box goes in. But that's what we're doing. Oh. 
I'm just taking off the strap that you need to open the door. Come on, Austin, say something to the camera. Hi, I'm Austin. I'm special and I'm not, not supposed really. supposed to be talking behind the camera. You're supposed to be talking. <laughs> say, uh, we'll catch you later, update you later, see you later, something like that. So I can cut this see you out. later. There you go. Factory edge right there, a little ugly. All right, so I told you, <clears throat> I was telling y'all that they come a little long, which I've already cut this one once. I need to cut it different length than what it comes. A little, little trim job here. Okay, corner cool. off right there. Kind of like Bob Ross, you know what I'm saying? A little bit here, a little bit there. Made a good pair of them shears like them old ladies be making them quilts with. My grandma stabbed my sister in the leg with one of them things one time because she was back talking. You ain't back talk grandma, she just stab you. She ain't no joke. I really wish I had some scissors. There's a, these razor blades kind of suck. Very, very carefully. Always cut away from yourself. Not towards your eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> Something about this carpet, it just dulls a knife fast. That one cut, that's a brand new blade. I literally just stuck it in there. And, uh, it's already dull. After one cut. All right, now put your ring on there. Call me, hun. Can't get a phone line up. Line your holes up. Yeah, sure. Still a little bit, a little bit long. Probably that corner right there. Yeah, that corner. Uh, take your blade and cut that. It'll make you a mark. Make sure it's lined up over here good. Oh yeah, it's right on it, man. Alright, cool. Turn this board. Cut away from yourself. Is that blood, man? Maybe. You already cut yourself. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be careful with them blades. Yeah. Go slow. Concentrate on that line. Let's try it in, right? Yeah, let's try it again. So this is what we do. You know, like you a uh, greedy person about to drink some tea with your pinky holding out like that, man. I said I don't want to get my fingers in front of the camera. I'm really crippled. But we just test fit it, trim it. Test fit it, trim it. Till it works. Money to shave off. That end, but that's it. 
We'll catch up with y'all later. Hello, we're finishing up the first door here. Let me get this nut on. But yeah, you want to be very careful. Got a delicate material. Very, very delicate. And be careful not to break anything. Then they go like this or this. Like that. What? Like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the first door here. Alright, we'll set that somewhere safe. Set it up here. Yeah, uh, and then let's get, get the up. second door here. The reason get uh, the, yeah, the reason get the hinge. Oh, not a hinge, right? Yeah, but you unscrew the screw here. Don't drop your screwdriver. And you pop this back in off. And you can push this right on screw. There you go. Just like it, huh? Then you need to trim the cockpit off. This one's gonna be a pain. A bit. <laughs> yeah. Here. Swap swap with me real quick. Okay. I think we're still recording. Yeah. So the ins inside of a Corvette is pretty much like a boat. It's just a bunch of fiberglass and some swelled up wood. You see where this wood's gotten wet before and swelled up? But uh, yeah, it's just like replacing the interior on a boat. But uh, that's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah, but Matt here is only what 36, yet he have done everything in the whole world. He was a rocket scientist once. Physicist, not rocket scientist. I'm a physicist. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get to making the. Um, What's up, y'all? So, uh, like I was telling you earlier. I was gonna lay it down on the ground and trace out them holes there. So that's what I did. It lined everything up real nice and perfect. Traced it out. So those little grommets, you gotta put a slot in it. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna do too much of a hole, just pretty much a slot to slide that in. But, and that's gonna be for that light. <clears throat> but uh, that's why I was been working on while Austin's over there uh, recovering the doors on the boat on that drop. Hmm? Recovering the doors on that boat. That's where you put your bait fish. That's like, well, that's a live well right there. Put your fish in there. You let the top back and you cast off the back. So the new pieces of carpet come with that backing like insulation type foam or uh, fiberglass or whatever it is. Uh, recycled blue jeans. That's what that is, recycled blue jeans. Anyway, so uh, we gotta rip all the old stuff out. See, we only pulled that piece out. We didn't pull the rest, we gotta pull the rest of it too. Mm. Got any back here, huh? Yeah, we gotta pull that out.
piece of trim for over here. So there's a little tab, all you gotta really do is just cut that little tab right there. Put that slit somewhere right there where this slide through. That's it, it should go on right after that. Any comment on the cockpit, Jim? Huh? Any comment on the cockpit? No, it's always got to be trimmed. Yeah, I'm going to turn the unit back on for these guys. What's up, everybody? So, uh, if you look inside here, we got the carpet done. Except for one except for one little piece here. We're going I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut the carpet and make this fit in the morning. It's quit time around this joint. I'm tired. This car don't kick my butt. But uh we placed all the carpet in the back and stuff, of course, like y'all seen earlier. Uh but here's where I'm talking. Cut your light on one. Hey, we'll go to the other side. That way you can film from this side. I'll go to the other side. But you see this carpet's a little long here. Hangs over the edge. So I'm going to have to trim it back. And uh, get it to fit. See how it's a little long? So I'll just cut a little bit off. A little sliver off. And that box slides down in here. A bunch of screws go all the way around it. We'll deal with that in the morning. I'll update you tomorrow. How about that? But uh, put that box in, put the seats in, and we're done. A little dusty in there from where I, uh, Jim got in and moved it this morning. But uh, I vacuumed it all out this morning too. Let's take a look back there behind the battery box. Just look back in there. In the little trunk part that we were doing yesterday. No storage compartment, what is it call it? Yeah. You want a pretty simple game in the stuff in? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, so this piece of trim right here, these bolts. Pretty about the only, that's about the only tough part here, here in the kick panel. Trying to cut that kick panel to get fit. And of course the pieces, these plastic pieces you see right here with the tape on it that I showed you on the video. They go underneath there to hold the seat belt underneath there. Um, those are a little tough, but it's not a nothing hard. It's just patience and being careful not to cut too far. You cut too far, then you screw. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad at all. So, yeah, the seat was just like, what oh, these bolts? Right. Yeah, I put new bolts all in there. They went nice and shiny. I could have put some old rusty bolts back in there, but why? You know, we got them on the shelf. Available, so. Put all new bolts in there. She ready to come, come get her.